I did send a message to Tom Knight. Thankfully, he is all right. He's taking a break from YouTube. He says he will binge watch me and Cody when he gets back on the YouTube train. He is okay. Good morning, everybody on YouTube. Good morning, grandmas. Today is Friday, September 1st. And I did indeed finish my Dave Ramsey book yesterday. The final push with procrastination. I wanted to get it done for my August book. That extra pressure forced me to finish like the last 80 pages yesterday. It's a good book, highly recommend it. I really like how he relates money to biblical principles and he puts a lot of emphasis on giving, not just hoarding. If you have your money clenched in your fist, it's not open to receive more from other things and opportunities. Book is read, book is done. I know exactly who I'm giving this to also. Or these are the three books that I have next in the queue. I got these two from Mr. Rocky Kimball. He brought these to the meetup in Austin. So thank you again, Rocky. Dave Ramsey was given to me by Jonathan Cleeter if I didn't already mention that. So thank you very much, Jonathan. And then I also bought this e Expert Secrets book. This was recommended to me by Steve. This one is more about like social media stuff. So it will help me develop my message, what I'm trying to do and then build a tribe and change the world. Hopefully we'll change the world for the better. But if any y'all have read any of these books or heard anything about these books, let me know which one I should read for September. I'm not gonna jump into it yet. Let me know your recommendation. Let's get into sales. Not a ton of sales, but we did have some sales. Spyro, Season of Ice for the Game Boy Advance. Four, like five something, not much. We also resold the 100% working Bose headphones with a new battery for $63. I also threw this up on eBay. It's just wooden, just like a wooden, I don't even know what this is called, like a wooden box stand. If you've seen my Instagram, I've had Game Boys displayed in here at one point, but I just wanna get rid of it because I am in the, I'm in like purge mode. This sold for 15 bucks, shipped. Probably just going to break even on that. My last copy of Pokemon Ruby, I put the price up to $23.99 and it's still sold. Memory stick, card reader, it sold for like eight bucks. So that Coleman Lantern that we sold and shipped with that awful Pyrex glass on it. Something broke in the mail, and take a guess what it was. And if you guessed the Pyrex, you are incorrect. It was actually the knob. Cracked right in half. For some reason, this knob broke in the mail. I don't know why, it's probably, I, had, I packed this thing well. Who knows? Maybe the post office played footy with it in the back room. I don't know. I'm gonna drop ship him a knob from somebody else to mitigate this return. That's the kind of stuff you deal with with the eBay business. And I'm a really low volume seller. Just think about people that are like, just think about people that are doing like 10 to 20 orders a day. The medium to high volume sellers must have so much more customer service nightmares. So I just got some packages from the mailman and this is not how to ship something. I ordered this off of eBay. Right now he sent it USPS first class. Right off the bat, I could tell this is a priority mail inside out. So this is a uh, this is a flat rate envelope inside out. I'm so surprised this did not get flagged. Not only was it a flat rate envelope inside out, he put it in a small flat rate box to pad it. Oh my gosh. And I bought another broken camera. I bought another broken camera, but homeboy does not know how to ship. Do not ship like this. And I did get my socket, one half drive to three eighths drive converter. I can now impact on a 10 millimeter bolt. Maybe get that clutch assembly off the AC compressor that's in the car. I have the tools. I have a little bit of headache. I don't really want to go to the gym. So I guess that's an excuse to work on the car right now. All right, we are up again. We need to get that bolt out. Got him. So let's see the play in that. There's so much play and like crap and crud coming out of it. Definitely the culprit. Oh, it's nasty. Get out of there. All right, just got it off. The bearings are falling out of it. That thing is nasty. My magneto looks pretty nasty, so we're gonna pop that off. Oh man, everything in here is super tight. Looks like I've been working in the coal mines. This is awesome. Three hours later. So part of this project reminds me of my college days when I used to wrench on motorcycles. Buy them off Craigslist, ride them for a bit, sell them back, buy them broken, fix some of them. I've been 100% focused on this project today with so many problems. It's been frustrating at times. I just went to AutoZone, got a bunch of tools, gave in, 
did the tool rental. Um, I wanted to make a really good tutorial today about this, but it did not work out. It is not congruent footage, so I'm not going to do that. I think I am just gonna keep working into the night, start getting to the timing belt. Basically, all I did right now was get so I can remove the AC compressor, and that's down there. I got to where I can move the AC compressor that's gonna come out, and then that one's gonna go in. I got a vacuum to pull a vacuum on it, and then I'll do some tests. Hopefully it works. Maybe I'll just stop in the middle of the night and go to bed, I don't know. Today has been a frustrating day. I did wanna thank Rally Roots. They shouted me out in a video and that's what toppled me over to the 10,000 mark. Um, so I do appreciate that. I didn't mention that yesterday, but it, it did help. I think I got like 40 or 50 subscribers just yesterday, which is like one of the highest I've ever had in a long time. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Roots. Anyways, thanks for watching. This was kind of a weird vlog. Did The day didn't kind of go as, as flowed. I apologize for that. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any encouraging comments, van comments, I'd love to hear them because this is going to be pretty frustrating for about the next two days. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye. I'm trying to work on this car, but it won't stop raining and lightning. My lights don't want to light. So much lightning. I think I'm just going to clean up and work tomorrow.